Hey guys, it's Sensuki. In this video, I'll be demonstrating another uh, cool build for Pillars of Eternity back of beta version 435. And in this build, I'll be demonstrating, uh, I'd probably call it the, the Musketeer, like, you know, the for three Musketeers, D'Artagnan and uh, uh, Athos and Porthos and Aramis and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a pretty garish looking uh, Amawa character here. The reason I'm picking a Maui is because they get plus two to might. I could also pick a dwarf, but um, the female dwarf has a glitch in her run animation at the moment. So I thought, because I'm going for 100 points in style, I'd, I use the Maui, which looks smoother. Okay, so um, I've got a coastal Maui. It doesn't really matter if you have coastal or island because their um, class ability makes no difference. In this one, I've got uh, 21 might and 17 perception. Obviously. Um, in in the next version, dexterity you probably want dexterity instead of perception. Um, now uh, I'm a rogue. Uh, I've chosen blinding strike because it's a special attack. Deep wounds, which gives me um, some raw bonus damage, uh, like a, a damage over time or whatever. Reckless assault, which gives me some more melee accuracy and damage at the cost of uh, deflection, which won't won't be much of a problem. And uh, the talents I chose are Vulnerable Attack, uh, which gives me uh, slower attack speed for greater armor bypass. Weapon Focus Adventurer to give me bonus uh, accuracy with the S-Stock. And Two-Handed Style, which it says here plus 1.1 damage, but I don't actually know if that's correct. It's probably times 1.1. It's probably just a bug in the string. Okay, so um, now, as you can see, I've got a character in a Valiant outfit with a hat. And I have an S-Stock. Now, that I haven't actually uh, completed this build yet, because what we want to do is we want to enchant the S-Stock. So we go into the inventory, right-click on the exceptional S-Stock, which you can find in the back of Ada. There is actually one in there. Click enchant. Now, well, we've got um, two things we want to do. Uh, so we want damaging two, which gives us times 1.3 damage. So I'm going to enchant that. And we also want a lash of some sort. Um, I'm probably going to go with corrosive lash, because there's some kind of damage calculation bug with freezing lash that gives it minus doesn't give you enough damage so I'm gonna go with uh, corrosive lash okay that's done now we have a an enchanted item uh, we have an exceptional less stock which has uh, natural 5 dr bypass plus 8 accuracy times 1.6 damage and plus 25 percent corrode damage now how our, uh, lashes work is it gives you 25 percent of your total damage after like when you've made an attack and the attack's been reduced by DT, I'm pretty sure it gives you 25% of that total damage. So it's not actually 25% of the base damage. Okay, so now I'm going to activate vulnerable attack. So this will give me 10 DT bypass, which is enough to get through nearly all of the armors that uh, any of these guys are wearing. I'm going to turn on reckless assault as well. I shall. I'm going to move up to this fighter. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm going to open combat with the fighter. Right, so that's done. Uh, I'll just queue up the rogue. Blinding strike. Now, let's see how much damage I can do against this guy on one hit. Oh, okay, so I did 59. That's not bad. It says 60 in the log. So we've got uh, 49. That was actually a graze as well. So that's a graze for uh, 59 damage. Now, that is massive. All right, so we'll, uh, <coughs> we'll queue up some uh, spells here. Now, see my recovery going down. Boom! Crit for 72. See you later. Okay, now we'll move on to this guy. So we've got a... Gr was it a hit? Hit for 46. Um, he still has, I think, 1 DT uh, against piercing or whatever. Might throw out an iconic projection. And another one of those on the road. 35. That was a... Was that a graze as well? No. 36, for some reason. That wasn't nearly as much damage as the other guy, because I'm not getting the sneak attack. There we go. A crit for 46. And we'll get the killing blow on this guy too. Oh no, just missed out. And the fighter stole um, the finishing damage. So, if I scroll back up in the combat log, it should tell me most of the hits that I got. Uh, now, we missed the first one. We got we got a, a graze for 50-something damage, because that... that you have to um, think about how many multipliers we've got here. So that a graze reduces your damage by 50%. All right, so let's have a look at what multipliers I've got. I've got plus 33% damage from might. Um, we have plus 25% from sneak attack, plus 25% from uh, blinding strike. So currently that is plus 83% damage. Now if we go into the inventory, let's see what other multipliers we've got. We've got times 1.6 here. 
So um, <coughs> that's two point times 2.43 damage. And then we've got the Corrosive Lash plus 25% of the total. So as you can see here, the base score um, is 59.3. Now that's not actually correct because there's a there's some rounding at, uh, errors with damage at the moment, but you get an extra 13 uh, damage from Corrode on top of that as well because of the 59. So when you put a lash on your, on your weapon, if you have if you're stacking damage multipliers, the lash damage is obviously better. So yeah, um, now this is just completely stacking damage multipliers, and it um, it when you got 2.43 damage multiplier, graze reduces that by 0 0.5. So that now your graze damage multiplier is 1.93. That's on the opening attack. Um, without sneak attack and blinding strike, you still have a multiplier of um, 1.93, and the graze will reduce that to 1.43. So there's a pretty uh, significant... You can get pretty significant damage in this build. So we've got... Um, the first hit was for 50-something, then we've got 72, so that's already 125 damage or somewhere around there. 46, so up to up to about 170. Uh, scroll down again. 36, just over 200. Um, and 46, so 200, about 250 damage just in that encounter with uh, all of the hits. And even on the grazes, it still does more damage than any of these other characters can deal in um, a single strike but then again they're not using enchanted weapons like we are here so um, if you want to build a I, I, I wasn't also wasn't wearing armor in this build if you want to build a ridiculous um, damage dealing musketeer style character I would not recommend using a rapier I recommend using an s stock because um, you can actually absolutely just pulverize enemies with this build and as you can see look at how much damage my party took pretty much nothing so yeah, you can kill stuff really quickly. Um, so yeah, hopefully you, got, you guys like this video. Hopefully it was informative and look forward to the next one.